Only today. Only today. I just, we've done this one uh, at some point before, but the Moras says such an amazing thing in, in, in page um, 398, it's number 19 of Only Today. Definitely get a copy of this book. We can provide you with a, a PDF or a copy. If a person would fill his mind with the fact he has only today, then he would certainly enjoy a contented life, a life full of everlasting happiness, for every day will be lengthened to a considerable extent, and he will merit to sense the sweetness of the day as to offer, as every day has a different sense of delight. Every day has a different sense of delight. There's something unique. Something unique. And the insight I want to say is that in our efforts, I'm adding this, in our efforts to get the same wonderful or great experience as yesterday, we miss today. You know, if we had an amazing day yesterday, or we want to avoid the problems of tomorrow or of yesterday, in our efforts to get something that we think would be amazing today, we miss the unique wonderfulness of today. Every day has a different and unique quality. And as Rabbi Abalafia commented once in similar way, some there somewhere else, this day never was and never will be. This day never was and never will be. Think about that for a minute. That's amazing. There's a uniqueness of this day. It always feels like the same thing's repeating, but it's just not. So let's go out and have an amazing day. Let's go out and be open to this day being something new. So let's open our minds that it's something new. So the tool is today can be something new. Today can be something new. Today is something new, but we can open ourselves and our mind that it can be something new, something new today, something new today.